Chippy here from umcportal.com. We're on a live session. There's another camera in the background. There are people watching over here. But we're just going to do a segment here, a recorded um, high quality for YouTube, because I'm going to unbox the uh, Acer W4. We've already, uh, in the last uh, 45 minutes, taken a closer look at the Lenovo Mix 2.8, and I've done a summary review on the live session uh, for that. I didn't record that separately, but check out the live session. Uh, the first half an hour of that is where I talk about the Mix 2.8. Also answer a load of questions from people uh, in the background here. But now we're gonna look at the uh, Acer W4, the Acer Aspire W4 Windows 8, 8.1, sorry, 8.1, eight inch tablet. It's, uh, this is the uh, Baytrail T uh, tablet that is uh, similar if you didn't know, to some of the other 8-inch uh, tablets I've got here. Pretty popular in the market, some of these, uh, but this one is available with 3G. So I've got the HSPA Plus version here. We won't test it in this video, but I just wanted to uh, open the device and uh, give you an overview. First impressions and a few comparisons with some of the other devices. So, so, th so there it is. Uh, we'll put that down a second because I just want to show you in the box one thing in particular that I just want to mention and I want to congratulate Acer for because this is not the first time they've done it, it's the second time they've done it, where other manufacturers use those micro USB um, host ports, they don't include this important bit of cabling. This is I want to make sure you get that in focus. Is that in focus? Can't even see. This is the micro USB to make uh, to USB female host port. Doesn't come with other tablets, but Acer put it in. So I just want to say, well done, Acer. The other OEMs need to put this. How much does this cost? Fifty cents? Please don't make us have to spend an hour going to Amazon, ordering it, paying $5 for delivery, waiting 24 hours, uh, when you could throw it in and just put put a dollar on the price. Anyway, thank you Asa for putting that in. Also in the box is the um, Microsoft Office uh, Home and Student uh, License. And uh, it is said in some packaging, there is the Crunch Keyboard, but it's not in this one. Clearly, this is the uh, it's kind, of, kind of low cost uh, package I've got here. So, what have we got in terms of specs? We've got an eight inch screen. We've got 1280 by 800 in terms of, of resolution. And it looks quite nice, actually, um, it, but it is a little bit thick. So there's kind of two classes of these Windows 8 uh, tablets. There's the thin and light ones, like the Dell Venue 8 Pro, which don't have HDMI ports and have a fairly, um, well actually this one has a reasonable battery, but if I could uh, lean over to the other one that I had in my hand, the, huh, did I put it down? This, the Lenovo Mix 2.8. It's a thin and light device, but it doesn't have HDMI and it has a fairly uh, small battery. So this is what I call a kind of two, two basic Windows 8.1 tablets. So the Acer is just trying to differentiate slightly by offering the HDMI as the WT8 does. They also have a 21 hour battery inside, as does this one, um, but they are slightly thicker and slightly heavier, up to uh, 100 grams heavier in some cases. Now the Acer, I think, is, uh, got to get this right, 410 grams, someone's going to cor correct me on that. I'll put it up in, a, uh, in the lower third afterwards. Let's go around the device now and I can talk you through some of the stuff that's uh, on the device. Is that in focus? I want to make sure that's in focus uh, first. We've got um, microphone there, we've got microphone there. So it looks like we've got dual array mics on this one. We've got a volume rocker up and down. We've got the HDMI port uh, there. And then we've got um, SIM card slot, micro SIM card slot uh, for the HSPA module, micro SD card slot there and that's pretty much it there on the bottom stereo speakers they're okay they're not fantastic they're usable uh, then there's the micro usb charge and the headset port uh, there on the other side there's nothing else and on the back there is the five megapixel cam which i think i did a test on today and wasn't very impressed with and there's a hardware windows button on the bottom which i actually like um, i like that hardware 
button to be on the bottom and I like using it for screen grabs. Uh, I don't know whether it's uh, going to be um, you know, a problem with, it's the only, well, it's one of the few moving parts on the device so of course anything that moves can potentially break but uh, anyway let me just uh, log in and uh, what I will say is that the screen is nice and bright uh, there's some really really good uh, viewing angles on in fact really quite impressive viewing angles actually on this uh, really not much fade at all and it's a complete contrast to the old W3 that uh, that Acer had this has got 2 gigs of RAM 32 gigs of uh, storage a year ago I would have said don't go for 32 gigs. Uh, now there are a couple of features in Windows 8.1 that make 32 gigs uh, a little bit more usable. Three features. One, you can clean up the disk quite nicely using the uh, disk uh, tools. Number two, you can default to storing uh, videos, music and documents to uh, a micro SD card. And number three, SkyDrive is, is more integrated in Windows 8.1, so you can actually use SkyDrive uh, storage pretty easily. And the more I use SkyDrive, excuse me, the more it, I find that it integrates really, really nicely and smoothly with Windows 8. And uh, I can't say that uh, I've been using any other storage since I've been using SkyDrive on the Windows 8.1 devices. Disk speeds uh, seem to be okay, apart from a slightly weak 4K write speed, uh, which matches the, the, the write speed on the, um, no, not on this one, on the Asus Transformer Book T100, which others have commented was a little bit slow on the 4K write speed. So that's only for people that are really going to push these to the limits. Four, uh, sorry, four megabits per, megabytes per second is not um, crazy. Uh, spinning disks will probably get less than that. But in terms of SSD, it would be nice to see 10 megabytes a second or, 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 or more. So I haven't done too much more with it, uh, apart from checking the uh, 3G capability. And that actually works uh, pretty uh, nicely, apart from the fact that I was rather hoping it would work uh, in connected standby. Windows 8.1 brought in the connected standby enhancement for 3G. Doesn't seem to work. So... I, what I really wanted to do, uh, the geek in me wanted to make this into a Skype phone. <laughs> I wanted to get a Skype in number and I wanted to just see if over 3G it would work, whether the battery life would be acceptable uh, and whether you could restrict data flowing over that 3G uh, by having it as a um, uh, metered connection in, in Windows and whether that would work. So I'm going to do more tests on the uh, on the 3G on this and, and let you know. I'll do some more tests on the Wi-Fi as well, let you know if that's uh, good quality because that's quite important. That's one of the key features. In fact, when you think about features, um, it is the only important feature that can degrade to zero. Uh, a bad screen is still a usable screen. Um, a poor amount of storage can be made better after you, after you clean it up. A uh, small amount of RAM, you can work uh, work around that uh, by using uh, fewer programs at the same time. But a Wi-Fi, uh, when it degrades to zero, you can't use the tablet anymore. You have to move back into Wi-Fi range. Uh, it, in some cases, that's not possible. So I think Wi-Fi is very critical on these devices. Having said that with 3G, at least you've got an option there and uh, actually a little bit secure, more secure. Uh, also worth mentioning GPS on this, so if you've got 3G and GPS you can use those uh, LoJack type solutions to track and uh, unlock the uh, devices if that's the sort of thing you're, you're into. Of course the, the drive on this is, uh, is encrypted. Anyway, um, so that's, uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, eight, eight to nine hours battery I think is uh, it's fair to say on this. I've had a look at this uh, over uh, two or three, two days now and a total of about six hours in use. So using power config minus battery report, you can actually get the um, extrapolated figures for battery life, and they look to be about eight hours. And that's, uh, that sounds sensible given that it's got uh, a 19 to 20 watt hour battery in there. It is a little bit bigger, a little bit thicker, a little bit heavier, but I think the Acer is gonna be one of the two that's gonna get discounted pretty well. The Lenovo Mix 2 will be cheaper, but you'll probably find this, especially in Europe with the 3G version. It isn't LTE, unfortunately. But with the 3G uh, HSPA Plus, which is 21 megabytes per second max theoretical download, um, you'll probably find that at a reasonable price. I think 349, I believe, with the 3G and 32 gig. That's pretty good. In fact, it's very impressive actually when you think when you think about it. 
that is it then for the quick overview. UMCPortal.com is where I'll be writing the review on it. Um, don't forget to subscribe to this channel because this channel is where I'm doing all the live streams for um, the Windows 8, 8.8-inch uh, 8 .8 devices, 10-inch uh, devices and 11-inch devices. Um, so stay tuned, you'll see the live stream announcements, you'll see, um, yeah, you get to see the live stream and take part as well. So please subscribe, help me, uh, support me uh, so that I can get more of these, uh, these done for you as well. That's it for this video. I'm going to go back to the live stream now. I see a whole lot of questions in the background, the people waiting for answers, uh, questions to be answered. So thanks for watching uh, this one. My name's Chippy. We'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.